What's good, Horror Horror? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, is another, Is It Worth the Hate? And what am I going to be tackling this time around on Is It Worth the Hate? I think I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with Boom, Doom. Okay, so before I get into this, you know, your boy's reviews and everything has spoilers in it all day, every day. So... If you haven't seen Doom yet, which came out a bajillion years ago, I apologize for the birds in the background. Pause this, go see the movie, come back, let me know what you think in the comment section, whether you liked it, whether you hated it, whether it is worth the hate, whether in your opinion it's not, and uh, we'll go from there. But anything after this point is on you. So, here it goes. Is Doom worth the hate? In my professional opinion, no, I don't think so. Doom stars The Rock, it stars Carl Urban, and it's based on the video game that was very successful back in the early 90s. And um, it, was, it was unique. So basically, it's about this uh, group of soldiers that go up to this um, station on Mars called Aldivai, because they get a uh, call from a Dr. Carmack that all hell's breaking loose. And literally, that's what it is. In, in, in the video game, it's hell breaking loose. Like, literally, hell coming to Earth or, or you know, coming to the space station. It, the movie came out around the same time as Doom 3, the video game. So, they both collided pretty well. Um, the acting was pretty good. Um, it also has the guy in it from, uh, I forget his name forgive me, but he was in like, um, the, uh, number 31, he was in 31, uh, he was in, um, oh, what is that, Three from Hell, as the, uh, the new, uh, he took, uh, Spalding's place, I forget his name, but he's like, he's in a lot of, um, he plays a killer and a bad guy in a lot of movies, he actually was in this as kind of like a soldier, one of the good guys. Um, and The Rock plays a good guy. Carl Urban plays a good guy. And they get up here, and the way they the way they explain this is it's evil. And if you can get um, infected basically by evil and turn into this creature demon thing. Well, um throughout the movie they're being hunted by these things and um they a few of them turn evil the rock here's the thing with the rock this was around the time the rock was very relevant in the wwe and he would leave occasionally due to injury and that means to make a movie um he was big in the wwe at this time and he was a good guy, so he didn't use profanity much, you know. And to hear him drop the f bomb in this, uh, it was—it was almost like he was cursing for the first time. Because he looks at the guy, they have this uh, back and forth, and he gets up in his face and he's like, "Shoulder your fucking weapon, soldier," just like that. Like he forces the fucking part, you know. It's not—it's not fluent. It's not. It's not normal. It's not like I would be like, I'd walk up and be like, yo, shoulder your fucking weapon, soldier. You know, he, he has to put an emphasis behind it. And it kind of drew me off a little bit because he, uh, you know, he was a big name in the WWE. He was a fan favorite. Kids loved him. So to hear him curse was fucking insane. Now, I will say in this movie, it has one of the coolest sequences I've ever seen in a movie. It was a first person sequence. It was after they found out Reaper, which is Carl Urban's character, couldn't be affected by evil, but it enhanced him. Instead of made him evil, it enhanced him. So he uh, he gets up and he's like this super soldier all of a sudden, and it f flips into a uh, a third person point of view, and it just shows the gun, or a first person point of view shows the gun. He's walking around, did you, did you just killing everything in sight. Shit was awesome. Um, and the final fight scene between reaper and sarge which was the rock's character which the rock ended up turning evil because he had evil in him um they end up getting in this monumental fight at the end and 
the rock goes full demon towards the end. And is it worth the hate? No. It's not as bad as what everybody says it is. You owe it to yourself to sit down and just watch it for a few minutes. No, not a few minutes. The whole time. Watch it. Relax. And just know what you're getting. You're getting a good time. You're not getting Shakespeare. You're not getting Titanic. You're getting fucking soldiers fighting demons with big guns and just just greatness. Like, this movie's actually really good. Um, I know it gets a lot of hate. A lot of people shit on it because it's very tied loosely to the video games. Um, but it's a, it's, it's a decent movie. I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think it's really worth the hate? Do you think that you share my opinion that it's a decent film and it's fun? Because it's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be fun. I thought it was. I thought it was great. Like I said, there were parts and there was dialogue in this movie that was hilarious. Um, when he got the big fucking gun, <laughs> the look on the Rock's face when he walks up. Oh man, it was priceless. Um, yeah. So, final verdict. Does Doom deserve the hate? I don't think so. I can see where people do hate it. But in my opinion, nah, it doesn't deserve the hate. Not what it's getting. So, like I said, go check it out. Have fun with it. And that's pretty much it. Now, with all that being said, Horror Horde, don't forget you have until May 1st to um, enter for the Stephen King books uh, to subscribe and enter, put your entry in. Um, leave a link to your video in my um, comment section so I can watch the video. And yeah, May 1st is the drawing, so hope you're all ready. All right, Horror Horror, with all that being said, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, as always, I love you, thank you, let's, let's just do it big, all right? And remember, don't fear the darkness, embrace it.